Hey guys, so I've got a bit of an app pick for you today. This is Etcher. You can get it from etcher.io. And I'll just give you a bit of a demonstration. Basically what it does is it takes uh, an image file or an ISO file, one of the files that you download a Linux distribution in, and then extract it um, into onto a USB device. Uh, it's basically very similar to the DD command. I usually use the DD command, but anyone that's known that for any length of time will know that such a command is a little bit dangerous if you're not paying attention and insert the wrong drive letter or partition number or what have you. This is a very nice portable open source application that allows you to write any image file or you know the one of the main image file formats across to a USB so you can try out and install Linux distributions and various other you know purposes as well. So you pick it up from uh, etcher.io and you can download it it's a cross platform Actually, you can get it for Linux, Windows, and there is a Mac there. I've only, of course, tried it on Linux, but it looks really nice. It comes as an app image, and I really quite like app images. I'm, you know, I use the Caden Live app image to do a lot of video editing here because it comes bundled with all of the dependencies in a nice single format. But also, sometimes when Caden Live release a new uh, version of their software, sometimes there are a few regressions, and then just having an old app image version of the application to go back to is uh, is incredibly uh, incredibly useful. Okay, so. Um, yeah, so you download the uh, the app image, there it is, and I've decided to give uh, Solus a shot just as an example of an ISO. Solus, very great distribution. I'm just going to get that uh, brave pop up there. Uh, say no thanks. Uh, yeah, but yeah, so yeah, we're going to try the Solus ISO, which comes in at about 1.1 gigabytes, um, and um, uh, basically you can uh, download the app image. It comes if I go into my downloads folder, you'll see that it comes as a .zip file. Um, now, app images are only ever a single file. However, the reason I believe it's come into a zip file is because then you don't have to make it executable. But this is the .app image, as you can see here from the uh, from the extension there. And if you go right click into properties, sometimes with app images, you'll need to go into permissions and you'll need to make sure this execute allow executing file as a program uh, box is checked there. But uh, the reason that they distributed this application into a zip file is, um, I assume, uh, why you don't have to do that. They did it for you effectively. So you download this app image in a zip file, you extract it to wherever you want to extract it and you double click it and up comes Etcher. It's a fine looking program and this is what an app image looks like. Now I don't use app images all that often but having, this is a great application f to distribute in, a, in an app image because when you're trying out new Linux distributions, um, you never really know what tools are available on each distro. Yeah, every distro has DD, but if you want something that's graphical, a graphical user interface, um, then having this, maybe even just on a USB as a backup, uh, might actually go quite a long way. Although admittedly, when you're going um, that far down the, the, the route, then you could use a live, um, a live Linux distribution on an ISO anyway. But yeah, um, so all you have to do, you select the image. So I'll select my... Um, my Solus 3 Budgie. It's already picked up the 4 gigabyte disk that um, that I had in mind. Yep, slash dev slash sdb, 4 gigabytes. It's the only one that's plugged in. And then you click flash. It's as easy as that. And then, of course, you have to put in your uh, little root password there because in order to access, you know, USB devices and whatnot, you... Um, you need the old root password. That's the same with any uh, application, be it DD or, or Etcher or um, anything else. Uh, so, yeah, that's um, that's Etcher.io. It's a nice little app image application uh, that allows you to burn, uh, you know, ISOs and the like across to a USB device ready for booting. Um, it just takes the standard DT tools and just makes them significantly easier Um to implement and a little bit safer as well. So yeah, I just thought I'd introduce this application to you guys. Uh, a few people have recommended it to me and I have found it quite interesting and uh, somewhat useful. Now I'm probably gonna stick with the old, uh, you know, the DD command line uh, application, but all that being said, um, this is definitely something that I can recommend to people um, who maybe are not as comfortable with the command line. So that's about it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I've been Chris Ware and you've been awesome. Take care now.